want to start by saying that the Lynx Hall is on the ancestral lands of the indigenous people of the three fires uh, who have populated the areas around the Great Lakes for centuries and for uh, they have stewarded this land uh, over the, these years and for this we have great gratitude and they have given us an, an example of how to carry the, and care for the land uh, moving forward. And for this, we thank. We have thanks. Thank you. So, you know, we have a lot going on here. 105 events. You know, we've gone annual. I'm not bragging, but we've gone annual. <laughs> and uh, we want you to come to something new, which is we made a puppet hub at the Fine Arts Building. So there are two photo exhibitions an art installation of a miniature motel, you'll learn about that. And then, you know, we have some huge houses, 600 seat houses, and then we have one that's only seven seats, and you can see the set even when that's not going on. You can go check it out, and way in the back of the fourth floor, we have a pop-up cafe for your coffees and your soups and your sandwiches. And uh, in there, you can see the set to Vancouver, too. So don't miss any of that. Go hang out and meet some of the other people around and, and enjoy. On, on Tuesday night, this week, we're gonna be doing something we haven't done before too, which is projecting a film, and that's a film by the artist Basil Twist. And Basil is uh, one of the artists with an exhibit in the museum, and he has a show at the Logan uh, the following weekend, Dogu Geishi, a uh, fantastic show about this very uh, unknown and obscure puppetry technique, which is called Dogu Geishi, and it's moving screens. It's nothing but moving screens. There's no, there's no characters or anything else. And uh, he makes a beautiful piece out of that. But on Tuesday is a projection of his film that he made of his production of Symphony Fantastique. You may have heard it's a show that's performed in a large aquarium and uh, all in water. And to the music of Hector Berlioz, and uh, the film has been shot in such a way that you watch the show as you would see it in the aquarium as an audience member, but then also you see the shots of the puppeteers in their wetsuits hanging over the aquarium <laughs> operating the puppets. And so it's, uh, that's going to be a fun thing. Tuesday night, 6 o'clock, Studebaker Theater. We're going to see uh, Grand Panorama this week, which is Theodore Skiptaharis coming from uh, Boston, coming no, New from York. New York, uh, originally from Greece. And it will be fantastic. It's at the Harold Washington Library Theater, a great big theater that you didn't even know was there, maybe. But you should check it out. What else, Blair? Well, there's a bunch of shows. There are a bunch of things happening. So without further ado, we want to introduce the co-artistic directors of Nasty Brutus and Short. Please, Kaylin and Myra Sue. Hey, everybody. Um, so my name is... My name's Caitlin, and Myra is on our video stream camera today. So Myra, so Myra. All right. Um, the main thing I want to say is we are made possible by the Puppet Slam Network grant. Um, that is what helps fund pretty much everything here, and then we're able to pay all the artists with ticket sales. So that's what we love to hear. Um, and I'm going to toss it over to Noah. say that and um, yeah uh, but however the best way out of darkness is with light and so we are going to have an amazing show in uh, in Bob's uh, memory and also just to buoy ourselves up and out of the drudgery of January and tragic news uh, all around and with that, I will say that my name is Jameson Jarvis Ralfonso, and this is Nasty British and Short. Yes! Now, a couple things that I want to make clear. Um, 
So tonight there are two shows happening at the same time. One is uh, for uh, you people at home. Right. Uh, uh, the, hello there, uh, you watching at home. Um, this is uh, this part of the show is for you, and also uh, the people that are in the audience here. Uh, yes, they can they can all see all of the uh, all of the stuff that is happening underneath the camera. Um, uh, so, in fact, uh, why don't we? Um, hey, uh, uh, Paul, can you cut to underneath the camera? See, yeah, see. So there. Uh, the, the, this is what the people at home see, and uh, for the people in the audience here, there is no difference. But um, if, if you were at home, uh, if you're at home, you see this, but uh, if you're in the audience, you see all of the sweaty armpits and the uh, inappropriately colorful t shirts for being. Uh, and uh, I would like to introduce um, this is Sam Locke here, and he has our, uh, our friend Toronto. And if we could cut back to, to just the little uh, tuna can camera. There yeah. we go. Yeah, uh, nobody wants to see what's down there. No, no, no. No. So, uh, I'm sorry for all of you here. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. All of you. And um, it sounds slightly like we're in a tuna can, too. Um, I don't know if there's anything that. Uh, hey, that's a little better. Wonderful. Yeah, there you go. Ah, thank you. Yes. <laughs> now you sound more like yourself. Right. Running the ones and the twos up there is, uh, is Brendan up, up in the booth. So thank you. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you for giving us as many DBs as you can. DBs? Yeah, yeah, decibels. Oh, I thought that was, um, quickly, what is that name with D and B? Uh, Daniel Boone. <laughs> No, that was a really old reference. Uh, yeah. that, that might be a record for the oldest reference yes. you've ever told. Right. And he tells a lot of old references, folks. How about this? Damn it, Bosco! No? Uh, I, I couldn't hear anything because you hit me in the snoot. <laughs> uh, pardon me. Uh, yeah, that's can, right. you, can you still sniff? Yeah, I wish I had. Wait, do that one more time. <laughs> The entire crowd has gone quiet as they watch a lone moose puppet sniff. <laughs> this is even better than those nature documentaries we watch on Disney Plus. That's right. Yeah. The lone Manitoban moose sat in his finery sniffing at nothing. Okay. I wouldn't call it nothing. There's a lot of people in here. That's true. Uh, speaking of sniffing and being in here, uh, thank you all for wearing your masks, because uh, mm -hmm. it still links all policy, and um, uh, pl please do it, because there's still that big yeah out there. Um, and uh, with that, what? <sighs> you ever have one of those moments where you just like feeling down all day, and then one thing happens and just Poof, the gray cloud lifts. Yeah, whatever that is, the opposite just happened. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Toronto is great, and speaking of great, first tonight we have, mm -mm, uh, all the way from Finland, and I hope I get this name right, uh, Liv's Midlet Theater with Full Measures. <laughs> So, yes, where do you live? Just around the corner. Can you be more specific? Of course. You take left, you continue straight, you take another left and another left, and then you are right outside my front door. It's a one-room apartment. How about you? 
uh, I live in a big house, two floors, or maybe three. Maybe. <laughs> yes, it depends how you count the floors. Together with the attic, there are three. Is it far? Quite far. Uh, I took a flight. How <laughs> long a flight? Three hours. Do you come here often? Frequently. Where do you live? Just around the corner. You take left, you continue straight. You take another left and another left. And then you are right outside my front door. It's a one room apartment. How about you? Big house, 127 square meters, two floors and an attic, precisely 160 centimeters high. Is it far? 1,872 kilometers. I took a flight. How long a flight? Three hours and four minutes. And you come here often? Frequently. Three times a week. Where do you live? 16, 23, 15 north, 35, 53, 20 east, 92 degrees left, 85 meter. 85 degrees left, 24 meter. 97 degrees left, 40 meter and 37 centimeter. One and a half meter from a 38 millimeter thick door one room, 35.4 square meter. How about you? 127.4569 square meters, two floors, 3.25 meter high each and attic 1.6. Is it far? 1,872 kilometers and two centimeters. Boeing 737, 110,000. Horsepower, 210 seats plus pilots. And do you come here often? Frequently, three times a week since Monday, the 11th of May, 2005. Wh why do we ask? Once I climbed this mountain, a special one. What made it special? It was like all the mountains of the world added together and divided by the total number of mountains. Mount Average. <laughs> yes. Mount Average. <laughs> Would you like to climb it with me? Yes. We need to prepare.
called Sako. Say hi, Sako. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. 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 And I am also a part-time puppet. That's why. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So uh, we are here tonight uh, to help help uh, co-host this show. A That's why. Right. We yeah. are co-hosting the show and mm -hmm. um, these little guys are co-hosting our show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Tubbly, do you have anything to say about it? Uh, no, but Sako has some things. Oh, okay, tell us a little more, Sako. <laughs> oh, there we go. That was, that was pretty interesting, huh? Sometimes, when puppeteers find one bit, they just run it into the ground. I find that very true about myself. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if they find it, they'll... Uh, they'll uh, they, it, we never uh, lose it. That's right. Yeah. And uh, so there was a thing that you discover when you build a puppet called sympathetic movement, which uh, if you have tufts of fur or feathers, um, and then you wave them around like that. Um, then they uh, they work really silly, and you can yeah, mm -hmm, just like that. Yeah. But if you do it yourself, you get what a headache. Oh, uh, pretty dizzy at least. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Yo, your car is just great. Oh, How did thank you. Do you. that. You uh, went from laying down to standing up like nothing. You are Dracula. I do uh, thirty wow. sit-ups a day. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, just wake up in the morning and one. Wow. Two. Oh, wow. Three. I, and, then I, and then I get my banjo out and I pick on it a little bit. Yeah. Hey, pick on your own size. <laughs> oh, wait, why? No, the banjo, why, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I have two. Talk on about it. picking one bit. Yeah. Okay, are you going to do banjo jokes? Because this is not a bluegrass festival. I'll hold them for next weekend. <laughs> okay, man. good. Yeah. Okay, now, um, the next act we have is um, Wolf House with, uh, oh, I better not say the name of this piece. There's too many uh, uh, consonants that I can't say. So Don't worry. I'm going to take this over. I got you, Bobby. Okay. All right. The next group is uh, Rough House <clears throat> with Trural's Electronic Bard. That's why. Directed by Mike Oyama. to show Clapotius what a true keen mind can do.
Plagisticosh, Romacroglyph, Flu, Banana Dam, Banana Sham, Glam Knob. Pebs, okay, Merlong, Gum and Gotch. Auntie Yun Furly Pazin Yi, a confray and Izor, Izor Ot, Bither de Furla, Spock Ray, Blee. He's very close, but. On filpin tree, <laughs> blockers three a fiending. Muggles, what silps came to thee in thy pantry dreaming? <laughs> uh, this will never do. Cautious thing when he sees this freak. Oh. The petty and the small are overcome with gall when genius, having faltered, fails to fall. Clapacious too, I deem, will turn the deepest green. To hear such flawless verse from Turl's machine. <laughs> there you are, an epigram, and wonderfully apropos. <laughs> but how can I be sure it wasn't a fluke? <sighs> Perhaps if I... Oh, I know! A poem about a haircut, but noble and tragic. Uh, full of love and retribution and treachery. Cleverly rhymed. Six lines and every word beginning with the letter S. Seduced, Shaggy Samson snored. She sittered short. Sorely shorn, soon shackled slave, Samson sighed, silently scheming, sightlessly seeking some savage suicide. <laughs> not bad, not bad, but any half-rate neural net chatbot could have put that together. <laughs> hmm. It's missing something. <laughs>
something with heart. I know what my heart is like now that your love has died. It is like a hollow ledge holding a little pool left there by the tide. A little tepid pool drying inwards from the edge. Everybody enjoying the festival so far? Yeah, yeah I, w I went to the uh, opening night party on Wednesday. Uh, it was uh, at the, on the eighth floor in the Fine Arts Building. And there was, yes, it was wonderful. There was three different shows going on at the same time. There was the show uh, between all of the different kinds of puppets that were uh, milling about like a big dinosaur and one of the things from that piece and me and um, uh, a, a face and a screen. So that was one show. And then there was another show of watching all these hungry puppeteers eating foods that were way too fancy for any of them to actually ever eat. And it was, so that was another show. And then there was the third show of watching all of the cars on Michigan Avenue getting pulled over in the pouring rain. And I just imagined them saying, hey, you know why I pulled you over? Yeah, you know why I ran inside? So you would have to get out of the rain and come and pull me over. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, that was just me, you know, looking out the window. Does, does anybody else smell fish? What? Yeti. Uh, no. Oh, hello, friend of the Yeti. This is the Yeti, everyone. Oh, hello. I yes. did not see you all there. Yes, this festival... I still do not, because lights are out. That's right. Yes. This festival is international, and the Yeti comes to us all the way from... From the Himalayas. Yes, with yes. Uh, somehow a uh, Ukrainian accent. <laughs> I don't get it either, but, you know, whatever. I, I there are not... more things in life than blah, 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 Shakespeare thing. Yes. <laughs> wow, yeah, that was uh, certainly a mouthful of fish. Uh, Is salmon you won't bite? No, nah, no thanks. I'll just go to uh, the uh, uh, CBA tomorrow and get a lox bagel. Okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, can you chew a little softer? I want to introduce this next piece. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, I am that's... chewing. Less hard, yes. I yes! Mean, <laughs> just, just a little bit. Okay, you're fine. Okay, this next piece comes to us all the way from Boston. Yes, and um, as part of Little Uprisings uh, Theater, yes, mm -hmm, uh, uh, they have a, uh, their final show is tomorrow at uh, the, uh, let's see, um, the uh, ETA Creative Arts Foundation at uh, down on uh, South, uh, South Chicago Avenue. Um, so if you uh, want to go and see that, it is in your uh, festival programs if you have one. Um, and uh, but that being said, here is Tanya Nixon Silberg with five protesting kids. <laughs> So 
So my name is Tanya Nixon Silberg. I would invite folks to come forward and sit crisscross applesauce because I work with little kids <laughs> around social justice. Um, and I needed something to engage kids in the freedom time of 2020. Um, and I went and I saw a, uh, a I'm nervous, why? Because y'all are adults. <laughs> Ugh, adults. Um, I saw a uh, puppet um, tutorial with uh, Wonder Smart Puppets um, and it was with Sedwan, um, Sedwan Hooks and he made a fist. And I was like, oh, what can I do with a fist with the little kids? And don't put your brains there. Um, anyway, so I came up with this song. So I'm gonna sing a song with you, a song that I've done at protests with young kids. It's about the Black Lives Matter movement. So here I go. <laughs> Let's start. <laughs> it's called Five Protesting Kids. Five kids protesting here, standing up cause they are clear that Black Lives Matter every day. Yes, yes. One jumps up and says, let's share. That's how we all can be more fair. Now we have four protesting kids. Yes, yes. <laughs> four kids protesting here, standing up cause they are clear that black lives matter every day. Yes, yes. yes. One jumps up and says, defund. No money for police, more community fund. <laughs> now we have three protesting kids. Yes, yes. Three kids protesting here, standing up cause they are clear that black lives matter every day. Yes, yes. One jumps up and says, don't shove. Our bodies and communities deserve all the love. Now we have two protesting kids. Yes, yes. yes. Two kids protesting here, standing up cause they are clear that black lives matter every day. Yes, yes. yes. One jumps up and says, rebuild land rights and promises filled. Woo. Now we have one protesting kid. Yes, yes. One kid protesting here, standing up cause they are clear that black lives matter every day. Yes, yes. One jumps up and says, let's dance. Black joy is how we all advance. Now we have, wait, no, no. We have all the protesting kids. Yes, yes. All the kids protesting here, standing up cause they are clear that black lives matter every day. Yes, yes. We all jump up and shout, hooray. Let's celebrate black lives today. And we have all the protesting kids, the end. <laughs> Tell them all to go back to their seats. You know where I can find any puppetry? <laughs> uh, tomorrow at 11 a.m. at the ETA Creative Arts Foundation. 7558 South South Chicago Avenue. Was that a real question, or are you doing a bit? I was doing a bit to kill some time before the next act. Uh, but that was great information that you yeah. just provided to all the folks out there. That's right. And for all of the people out there, um, uh, you're not in Chicago, so that um, sucks to be you. <laughs> No, no, no. And we just mean that in general. Yes, yes. <laughs> not just about the night of the That's festival. That's right, yeah. If you're not in Chicago. Mm. Sucks to be you. Yeah. 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 Big mistake to uh, your part. Yeah. That's we just really endeared ourselves to these folks yeah. down there. You know what? You know and what? nobody hey. out there. Yeah, you know what? That's a great thing to say at an international puppet festival, yeah. you dork. <laughs> oh, come on. There's other parts of the world too where it Name would one. 
<laughs> it would also suck to not be there. Mm. Yeah. Like, I don't know, I, ooh, there is a wonderful sewer in Paris where I had the most amazing lunch with a rat. I realize I'm now just describing the plot of Ratatouille. Well, I was about to say, but you know what? what? It sounded lovely and sounded like it could have been one of my cousins. So, yeah. You are a beaver. Which is a rodent. Oh, yeah. I See? Guess. See? Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. What? Uh, Hang on. There's a piece of uh, corn in there uh, 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 that's only partially digested. Uh, uh, I can't reach in. My arms are made of umbrella parts. <laughs> well, you know what? It just means more elbows for me as the umbrella parts in my arms slowly break over time. You know, it just dawned on me. What? The next piece, I believe, is a film, and therefore we have been killing time for no setup. <laughs> oh! Hey! The fucking screen is down. I yeah, guess yeah. we should shut up and get off the stage. Yeah, so uh, why don't you go ahead and announce it, Noodles? I'll get out of here. All right. Uh, here is a video from Coriolis uh, Teatro de Objectos uh, Invierno Silvita. Yeah. Let me see that corn. <laughs> Uh, hello, sir. Uh, hello. Yeah, uh, I'm just coming down here to supplies to get a new uniform. Yeah, uh, what size uh, pajamas do you wear? Uh, uh, it's a uniform, Looks and... Looks like pajamas to me. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it'll be extra, extra, extra small. Hmm. Hang on, let me check. Okay. Uh, did you say pants? Uh, no, no, uh, just the full uniform. Ah. Uh. Um, and if you could, make sure it has the little flap in the back, uh, you know, for when I have to go on break. Tail or pooping? Uh, uh, the latter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a I pooping, in case you didn't no, know what no, the I latter <laughs> was. Yeah. I thought maybe you wanted to stick a ladder up your ass. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, just, uh, you know. Huh? Yeah, just pooping. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, I got one in pink. Uh, uh, I got one in uh, 
Do you have any purple? Fluorescent orange. Ooh, fluorescent orange. It would match my hair. Yuck. Uh, I got some beatboxing. You got some beatboxing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hang uh, on. Uh, can you... Can you... <laughs> Why stop? I ran out of breath. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, hang on, you know what? My dad is uh, the captain of the ship. I'll just change the rules. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, amendment. Uh, I didn't know it was this easy. Uh, well, I'm not supposed to, but, you know. Okay. Uh, it it's is amazing now, what you can do with nepotism. It is now okay for ensigns, ensign, yeah, ensigns to wear uh, crappy shit that has not been updated in months. Uh, go, oh, wait, hang that's on. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. That uh, they have spilled either barbecue sauce or some sort of uh, <coughs> ejaculate on. Um, Can it be both? <laughs> I get around. All right. Done. Now, uh, speaking of puppets. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> This next piece is... That's how you break the fourth wall. Yeah. For those learning at home. Well, you know, it was either that or we just keep going with this for another 10 minutes and... Uh, yeah, yeah, nobody wanted that. No. Gabriel's probably getting real tired by now. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, the next piece is um, made up of all edible puppets and it is Gabriel Charlton Piney and matzo soup. So take it away. a sign. It's that... Is... I'll, I'll just be on my way. Yeah, well, you should! <laughs> Margaret? What, Betty? Can't you see I'm trying to fucking talk to him? I just... Just let him go. Give him a break. E excuse me, miss. Have I, have I offended you? Have I offended you? Y yes! You know, this is... This is our farm's property line! And if you can't see that, then... You should be on your way. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I will. I will. Margaret. <laughs> Why are you so harsh so often? Betty, I'm just trying to protect our farm. I remember when I was born. <laughs> I had a great deal of fear in me. It was something I think I was born with. It wasn't hereditary. And, and I was looking for community from a young age, an only child alone in the English countryside. And yet, I am an American from New York, just visiting here, and have taken on this accent. And I find it suits me. I've been backpacking for three years, a trust fund account keeping me going wherever I go. There's no conflict. <laughs> Bernie, mm. do you think our grandchildren would appreciate our farm? Margaret, of course they will. Why do you doubt that? I just think we're a little different. Margaret, why do you say that? 
a polyamorous kink dungeon community <laughs> is so welcoming. <laughs> With Mappa and Fapa and Tapa and Sapa. <laughs> and you and I. I just think they won't understand what we've been doing here. No, Margaret, never say that. They'll understand. They'll understand. Another story about fear. <laughs> I remember when I was struggling with these two voices, that of love and that of fear. The voice of love was always very quiet. It was like a church mouse in a drafty church. <laughs> and the voice of fear, like the church bells ringing. Quiet at first, and then louder. And I couldn't hear that voice of love, that little church mouse. And I finally found community. It was of the polyamorous kink type. <laughs> and I found there was love everywhere. <laughs> and fear was minimized, and that church mouse became a lion. And it ate me whole. <laughs> Yes, Margaret. Benny, come outside with me. Let's watch the stars. Oh, it's so lovely, isn't it, Margaret? It reminds me of when we first moved here. It does, doesn't it? I was just so afraid of property lines and sharing. And now look at you. <laughs> You're here with all your grandchildren. I am, aren't I? <laughs> Benny! <laughs> yes, Margaret? We've lived a good long life, haven't we? We sure have. I love you so much. <laughs> oh, Betty! I just think our lives together have been worth it in every respect. They have, haven't they? <laughs> Baby! <laughs> yes, Margaret? <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Let's have another big round of applause for that act, huh? Yeah, so we have a lot of great stuff coming up here. And the Granny? Hello! What are you doing here? Just trying out my new battery-powered roller skates. What kind of batteries do those take? Old. Uh, sounds right. That's why I'm not going very fast, eh? Mm. Yeah. I think they need to be oiled too. Yeah, yeah. I gotta say, you balance way better than I expected. Oh, it's because I had a, uh, a hip and pelvis and knee operation. I just had them all fused shut. Oh, jeez, that sounds like something maybe everybody needs at some point. No, 
Is this really the only way I can get around? Oh, okay. Hey, you're getting real close to that camera there. Am I, or yeah. am I just really big now? You know, I didn't Ooh. think about that. Huh. Now I don't know. I'm shrinking. Oh, really? Be careful. You don't want to get so small you disappear. Oh, no. I got the incredible shrinking grandma over here. I have no idea how she's going to refill the candy bowl at home. Hang on. Uh, sounds like it's gas powered now. Uh, I better not get any bigger or I'll blow up. Ah, oh, geez. Maybe we should just introduce the next group. <laughs> oh, there goes my granny. Oh, well. So, uh, next, <laughs> next up. Oh, I'm just kidding, eh? Oh, oh there oh, we go. Oh, How oh, about you introduce the next group, my right, granny? Then. All right, yeah. here with a piece that should have been retired years ago, so it's probably for the last time. She it's, told us to say that. Yeah, yeah. That, this right. is not our opinion. It's, it's written right here. We are not doing an editorial. Uh, is Sarah Nolan from Boston with Time's Up? <laughs> This experience, I think everyone on the pillows might not be able to see the playboard. I wouldn't mind taking a moment to either stand up in the aisle or find a seat where you can. It won't be long. Thank you.
An oldie, but a goodie. Get out of here! Yeah. No. Oh. Wow. You got a lot of airtime on that one. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's a, it's a puppet dog. It doesn't even exist. It's it not even there. It wasn't a puppet dog. It was just him barking down there. That's right. The yeah. people in the yard. It was a person. Hey, you know what? It's still. I'm sorry for making uh, you all think that I kicked a dog. I did not really kick a dog. It, uh, it's, We've lost him. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. I guess what do we do now? Yeah, I guess we just sit here until they get set up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? I uh, uh, speaking of they getting set up. Here uh we have a new piece. It's what the fuck? I won't pay the rent. Hey, there's honey on my butt.
Chicago. Chicago Puppet Fest, how you feeling? Yeah! Yeah! Holy shit, I'm so sorry for everyone on the live stream. Huh? Well, we're on the last night, the, the last act. I'm so happy that we're happy to do this. Y'all want to see a Shadow Puppet show? Yeah! yeah? yeah! All right, one more time like it's the last time. Are y'all ready to see a Shadow Puppet show? Yeah! yeah! Once upon a time, there was a little honeybee. She was really good at making honey. In fact, her honey was different than all the other bees' honey. All of her friends would say, Wow, honeybee, this shit is so good. You ought to try and sell this honey. All the other animals would love to taste this honey. So she listened to them. She began preparing. She made pounds and pounds of honey. After hours and hours of hard work, she was finally ready to sell her honey. On the next day, a big black bear marched by her honey stand. The honeybee called out to him and said, Hey, a mister, care to try some of my honey? The big black bear looked at the honeybee, extended his paw, and said back, Why, what kind of honey is it? Well, it happens to be my very own honey, and it is quite delicious. I really think you should give it a try. Oh, no thank you. No offense, but I don't want to risk my time on honey that's local. Besides, I already know what I like. Good luck, though, little honeybee. And with that, the big black bear was on his way. That night, the honeybee took the big black bear's words to heart. She decided to make the price of her honey in half for the next day. On the next day, day number two, a little fire ant marched by her honey stand. The honeybee called out to them and said, Hey, your neighbor, oh. care to try some of my honey? It's half price. The fire ants looked at the honeybee, wriggled their antennas, and said back, Why, uh, what's it taste like, huh? The honeybee exclaimed, Oh, it tastes like nothing you've ever tasted before. I really think you should give it a try. The fire ant sighed and muttered, Oh, no, no thank you. No offense, but listen, pal, I don't have honey very often, and when I do, I don't want to risk my time on honey that I never heard of. But hey, good luck, though, little honeybee. And with that, the little fire ant was on their way. That night, the honeybee took the fire ant's words to heart. She decided to make her honey completely free of charge for the next day. On the third day, a sweet little butterfly flew by her honey stand. The honeybee shouted out to them and said, Hey, you miss! Oh. Care to try some of my honey? It's completely free. The butterfly looked at the honeybee, flapped her wings two times, and said back, Why, what makes your honey so special? Oh, well, it tastes... Oh, the my, butterfly tastes... interrupted her. Huh? Oh, no thank you. Huh? I don't really care what makes it special. Huh? I, frankly, I don't really care if it's free. Huh? I like enjoying things that I'm already familiar with. But the other honey isn't from around here, and it costs much, much more. The honeybee asserted. I know. The butterfly said with confidence. And that's how I know it's better honey. If it's local or if it's free, it won't be as good as the honey that's from out of town, or the honey that costs a lot of money, or the honey that I grew up with. Everyone knows that. Besides, why would I try anything new when I already know what my favorite is? Good luck, though, little honeybee. And with that, the butterfly was on their way. The honeybee felt awful. No one wanted to try her honey. Were her friends lying to her? Was her honey really bad? She thought long and hard, and she hurt and wept, until finally she realized. Hey, wait a minute. The bear, the ant, the butterfly, none of them gave my honey a taste. Why should I care what they think when no one gave my honey a try? I have the best tasting honey that tastes like no other. And the best part is, I have it all to myself. The honeybee yeah, grinned and flew so all talented. about. Yeah, she I looked all throughout, that. pleased you with her honey. honey. She knew who was it's cool, so and without a doubt, she it try. seems she realized what was more important oh, than money. The end. Um, so, uh, that brings us down to the end of our 
show. Uh, so, and our show would not be anything without the people in the booth. So give them a hand. Yes. <laughs> and also, this show has been brought to you by Lynx Hall and Rough House and the Puppet Slam Network. And could we have all the puppeteers come back out on stage, please? <laughs> joining us. Um, the main things we wanted to talk about are there are two more of this sort of event. Not the same acts. It's different every night. So next Friday and Saturday at 1030. Ooh. We're back here doing the same thing with different puppeteers. Um, and there's something else. We yeah, to talk about. you may uh, you may have noticed there are some seats left in the audience. We've been getting a lot of inquiries like, oh, the tickets are sold out on the website. There's a chance you can get a seat like there are tickets that get freed up the last minute. So if you have friends who want to see the show, let them know that they should yeah, try, try their luck and it's a very high chance they can get in. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so um, if you like what you saw, please follow us on social media. Um, you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook. I think it's MBS Puppet Cabaret. You can follow us a, like a, as, <laughs> as a, a, a fan, a, a audience member, or if you'd like to share some of your own puppet work, that's where we like blast any call for applications and, and things like that. Um, so yeah, we hope to see you next week, and thanks, thank you so much for coming. Yay! 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 Yay!